Hello, welcome to lesson 10 of um, my introduction to Maya. Today's lesson will be on a subdivision surface workflow using the subdiv proxy. So let's bring Maya into the view. Yeah, one of the most popular methods used when working with polygonal models is the use of subdivision surfaces. So um, now that you have already had a test of this, of um, test of this, just by the way we can view polygonal objects in our viewport. Um, you can see how this, uh, you can see how this uh, surface subdivides by pressing the number one, two, or three on your keyboard. So if we press one, we've got this. Um, if we, when we press, if we press one, it shows uh, this actual polygonal model, and if we press two. It shows the subdivision surface with the um, with the polygonal cage around it. So um, the cage is with uh, this cage. You can you can if we click on uh, vertices, you'll be able to see that the vertices are actually on the cage. You know, and uh, these vertices can also be manipulated. Uh, can be uh, moved and mani manipulated using this. Polygonal model can be uh, moved or manipulated using the the cage that we've got on here. So if we click on back and click and um, uh, click if we click on three, it's that the actual mesh itself in hardware. You know, in um, um, if in like the shaded version of the of the mesh, hardware texturing or whatever you you want to call it. So um, all this display stuff is fine, but the real key is to be able to animate this character using our lower resolution version. So why would we want to manip manipulate this character using our low resolution, um, our low resolution version of this uh, model that we've got on here? Well, I've got uh, three reasons why. Because it's a lot simpler to to manipulate this um, object in low resolution. It's um, easier to actually um, manipulate or animate this object when we're doing a real time animation. It's actually easier to manipulate the to manipulate a low resolution object, as well as um, it actually renders a lot quicker if it's um, low resolution. So. Let's try to render to render this one and see how that how, how and see how that works out. If you've noticed, um, click on hardware, then render. If you've noticed, if we render like this, it's uh, it looks a bit crappy, like around the edges. You can see it's too square, it's too boxy, you know. So if we render the um, the smooth one. Let's click on render. You see that it's 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 more appealing. We we'll probably want to use this one instead of um, if you ask anyone to actually give an opinion which one they would want to um, animate. They'll, they'll probably want to animate this high resolution one compared to um, this one because uh, it looks more appealing and it looks just it looks better, far much better than this model. But what you want to do is um, render a high resolution version from a low resolution version okay when um how can i put it when you when you when you render this actual object when you actually wh what you want to do is when you render this actual version of our model you want our renderer to see this one it will have all the um all the settings all the the weight the low the light weight and the quickness of this on here all right so how we're gonna do this one how how we're gonna render this and produce this result how we're gonna do that well in my there's two methods that are well known and that's uh, including using the subdiv surfaces sub subdivision surfaces all right so the standard like um, the regular Maya, like old these um, Maya users who've been with Maya from version whatever version one, prefer or you know the typical Maya users prefer you using um, the subdiv proxy and that's that's just the 
That's what that's just what works. We use the subdiv proxy. Alright? So how does the subdiv proxy work? Well, the subdiv proxy works like this. Make sure we in polygons go up, uh, make sure we in polygons menu go up. We've got the subdiv proxy. We've got the subdiv proxy here, and there's a hotkey, which is a command key on your um, Mac keyboard, and this little uh, tilde key. This little tilde key on here. So that's the hotkey, as well as these other options. All right. So you can um, let's um, let's 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 do it again. Click one. And actually render this object and see how uh, how it renders. See, it's boxy. Close it. Click on three and render the high resolution uh, version. See, it's far much better. Now, now um, close uh, close the window and uh, go to subdiv proxy. Go to proxy. Make sure this one. Okay, let, let's see. Um, just bear with me. Make sure that, okay. Click on the crappy one. Go to subdiv proxy. Then click on subdiv uh, proxy. All right. If you click on uh, subdiv proxy, bring bring out the outliner and see what's going on. So if we um, go to Windows and go to outliner, just wait make sure, um, make sure it's an object mode let me double check windows outliner there's nothing on here see how it is there's nothing on here this um, see there's it doesn't tell us much on here so if we um, Object mode. Make sure it's an object. Highlight it. Proxy. Subdiv. Uh, subdiv uh, proxy. Then go to um, Windows. Window. Outliner. You notice that there's this key. Now there's um, this option that we've got in here. So if we click on this option, it will show you two options. It will show us that there's this neutral. Which is uh, the original copy and uh, the original copy and the duplicated copy? Okay, we've got two options now. All right, we've got this one and that one. So the the copy the, uh, this is the original version. This is the um, copy version. Now, if we render if we render this one, it will render both. All right. So make sure it's on here. Make sure it's on there, then try to render and see what happens. Let's see. Make sure it's an object mode. Render. So uh, now let's render it. See, if we render it, sorry. Let me make sure there's we've got one. We've got one, two, and three. All right. So one is both of them, like the the what both the um the copy and the original one. Two because we've clicked on the subdiv proxy. One is the Two in one, so it has the copy and the original one. Two, it will have uh, um, the original one with the thing on top, with uh, like the cage. Three, it will be the both the smooth one, uh, both the copy and the original one, but the smooth version of that one. All right. So uh, click on one and render it and see what's going on. So if we render the the if we render it, you notice that the, it has. This is the one that we want to manipulate, okay? So you notice that it has this little, the it has both the high resolution one and the low resolution model, all right? It has both. 
So if we close that and go into our outliner, 